Alrighty, boys and girls, just getting our day started. Got my orange juice everybody loves. And I got my egg cups. No salads in this loves today. We woke up over here at the new loves in Goshen, Indiana. It's the one over off of uh, US 20, where basically it's a freeway. A little bit before you get into town over by the uh, Gallops with the big McDonald's in it. Um, we haven't gone this way in quite a long time, so I wanted to check it out. Also, I didn't really have to hurry up so I didn't see the need to pay the Indiana toll road because Lord knows what they're charging nowadays. It's been a while. So we're probably gonna run Ohio. I haven't decided on that yet, depending on the route I decide to take. Also, to be honest, I'm not really sure uh, whether we're gonna go 90 up over the New York Thruway in New Hampshire, or whether, you know, down into Massachusetts and up, or whether we're gonna take uh, 80 straight across Pennsylvania, 81, 84, and up and over through Connecticut. Not really sure. I guess we'll see as we go. But as of right now, it doesn't much matter. Just gotta head east. Let's get our breakfast eaten. Get uh, paperwork caught up on. Got a lot of to get done. And then we'll get scrolling. It is now. a lot of comments about my orange juice. The reason I drink this particular one, number one, it's the only one the Loves has, and it's a larger one. And right there, not from concentrate. In other words, it ain't been powderized, pulverized, and then reliquified. I'm guessing, just squeeze the oranges and put the juice in the can, I guess. I get people commenting on orange juice is bad for you to set in the other. Have you been in the trucking industry for more than 10 minutes? Alrighty, logbook's done. A lot of people don't recognize. I'll just explain it real quick, because some do, some don't. Most do, some don't, I should say. The truck's a 1984 Peterbilt. It only has a lap belt seat belt, and I do use it. There's no shoulder straps available in this year. Also, because it's an 84, there's no ELDs, electronic log books, because there's no computer on the mechanical engine. There's no computer. There's no way to interface it. So, ELD exempt. 2000 model year truck, it went on engine year. 99 and older, trucks are exempt. Unless it's a glider, then it's always exempt. Because Orwell was shut down overnight, it will roll some coal when we leave. The truck is stopped for 1984, hence it meets emission standards for the year it was built. Orwell is also emissions exempt from all that nonsense. No DEF, no DPF, none of that nonsense. The truck don't burn cat piss. Digi HUD on, that's a little speedometer. There's ways. That's how we do it. Kill the high idle. Make sure the trailer valve's up. Release park and brake. That's where you hit that like and subscribe. Let's get at it. Should have already done it by now. If you didn't, get at it. It's 
seriously. Get at it. We ain't leaving until you do. All right, sit back here and shut up. Oops, sorry, that brings me back when the kids a little. Let's get at her. Lights on too. We fueled last night, so we have no need to get fuel now. Oh, I'll probably get it before I get into New England though, just to avoid the ridiculously high price fuel. Had a subscriber call me. Got a number from a friend. Said he got a truck for sale. Might have to look into that. I'm hoping, he's gonna send me pictures. I'm hoping it's a real deal. certainly need a truck to put a driver in. I've been perusing Marketplace a lot. Also, I've gotten a few more emails regarding a position in the shop for a full-time truck mechanic, working on cars, trucks, whatever else I got going on. And this is where we roll that beautiful cold footage. since I've come through here. I think I said that earlier. So the route I normally take is 94 to 20, and then you wind up taking two later on. Getting on US 20 East here. The route I typically take if I'm trying to avoid the very overpriced Indiana toll road is I take 94, 80, 94 up through the Gary, all that whatnot. Get up past the scales, get on US 20, and then head east on 20. There's a piece of two you run to get you back on 20, which is this section of road here. The reason why I said the two different sections of 20 is because this here is a four lane, basically like an interstate. But Highway 2 takes you straight through to it. It's goofy, but that's how it's set up. And then you can take it, take two, uh, sorry, 20 straight across, or you can jump up to, uh, what is it, 120? I forget, it's been so long. This is where the freeway basically ends. It'll go to four lane, but like a more local four lane. I've got to drop my gear in half. But then they were widening out a section down a ways too, so I'm kind of curious on how that turned into.
almost thought it was a Jeep at first. It's not a Jeep. I don't know what the heck it is. ago they did all this here. Ah, we'll go straight this time. We'll stay on 20. Then we get to Ohio, we'll scratch our heads and debate on how we proceed.
ocean all the way out here to Middlebury. Now, if I remember right, like I said, we're going to cut to the right, but we used to just go straight. Yeah, probably talking 20 years ago. straight
flying J where the old dirt lot used to be behind the Burger King. Burger King is now a uh, Indian Dahaba. The subway is a smokehouse of some sort. The tire shop's still there. Whatever repair shop that is there. Flying J and a Loves now. There used to be nothing here. Well, Flying J, I guess, is good for parking. I'm not a big fan of Pilot or Flying J. I like Petros and Loves better. It's a better selection of food. I like the loves because I don't know any of them that do that pay to park nonsense. Might be some, but. It's been a while since I came this way, so I wanted to see what's going on. They, they got those middle toe boots working, or they still take your ticket, pay when you get off. Anybody know what they're actually going to be doing here? Like, what are they doing? Predominantly, like, open road tolling and bulldoze this crap? Or easy pass, roll straight through, everybody else got to stop and pay? Pennsylvania did during COVID. Just fire all the co all the toll workers and replace them with a camera. 